G'day guys, welcome back to MJ Rebuild. Today, we're putting in the brake lines. Okay, what I've done, I've taken all the brake lines and I've straightened them out as best as I can at the moment so they're a little bit easier to work with. And I've also got the old brake lines to use as templates as well. So I know exactly where to bend. So I think we'll start at the front and work our way back. That's the little T-junction front, but it's rather grotty at the moment, so what I'll do, I'll give that a bit of a buff up on the wheel and see if we can make it clean again. Okay, that's made a bit of a difference. Worthy of going back on the MG now. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Okay, 
it's not important to get it exact because you can always adjust it while it's on the chassis. Once it's on the chassis. Can you zoom in? Mm. I've already done the actual front wheels, done those yesterday. Um, it's a bit hard to see. You zoomed it all the way. Can you see on that one? On that one? Yeah. So I can see I've already got the, the line in there and the new rubber hoses as well. Nothing's tight as yet, but I'll uh, get that done during the week. Like it's all done. the hardest bends of them all, around the rear brakes. just got the pipes in roughly at the moment. I've still got some more adjustments to do to make them all nice and straight and for them to run run properly and put some more clamps on them. There's only one more pipe to go. And this is this one here. The only problem is, is to go from the master cylinder through to this um, junction here. Now because I bought the kit from the US this is from a left-hand side car, left side, left-hand drive car. I need to get one for a right-hand drive, so I'm gonna have to order one of these um, before I can finish off the brakes. Um, but I will still put some fittings in the back of the wheel cylinders on the rear wheels, and just start tightening up a few of the actual uh, nuts and bolts and so forth, um, and that's it. Now, when you when you tighten up uh, the the unions and everything on the brakes, don't go crazy don't tighten them up as much as you can. 
because um, what will happen, you'll actually um, end up bending and splitting that little fairing ferrule on the end. What you need to do is just tighten up, just take up the slack, and then try the brakes out. Not driving, of course, in, you know, when you're actually um, bleeding the brakes, you'll see if there's a leak. If there's a leak, just, just tighten up a little bit more until the leak stops. Um, otherwise, if you tighten up too far, you'll actually make a leak that you can never stop. So, just slowly go, go on that one. Okay, that's all the brakes done for now. Um, I've still got to put on a, a flexible brake line from the, the rear diff to that line that runs all the way down the chassis. Um, the only thing is, I'm actually missing the actual uh, the nut that holds it onto the chassis plate. I mean, it's here somewhere, I've just got to try and find it. Um, other than that, just that little short piece of um, tubing from the master cylinder to that junction, and they're all done. So, um, next time, I'm going to put the tub, body tub back on the chassis and try and see if I can get some panels to align up properly. So, um, that's next week. Um, so, don't forget to jump on the store if you want to uh, support the, the channel. So, jump onto mgrebuild.store. Uh, I know there's been a lot of traffic on there the last week, so that is fantastic. Thanks, guys, for looking. And also, thanks to the guys that actually have bought some. Um, uh, they're starting to go out quite well. Um, now, also, don't forget to subscribe, like, tag notifications, and share as much as you can. Um, we want to try and make this channel nice and big so we can actually continue on and do bigger, bigger and better builds. So, you know, I'd like to be able to do an MGB chrome bumper, um, maybe a Mark 1 1600 MGA as well. So... Let's just see how it goes. Anyway, until next time, see you later.